Good day all. This is a note session. Herewith we are providing notes for the uterine cycle in the animated background. Let's see that. First, let's see what is uterine cycle. The regular cyclic changes that occurs in the functional layer of uterine endometrium is called as uterine cycle or menstrual cycle. It is regarded as the periodic preparation for fertilization and subsequent pregnancy. The length of the uterine cycle varies between 21 to 35 days, but on average it is around 28 days from the beginning of one menstrual period to the next. The days of the cycle is starting with the first day of destructive phase. The wall of the uterus is made up of three layers. They are the perimetrium, the myometrium and the endometrium. Again the endometrium is divided into two layers. They are the basal layer and the functional layer. Approximately for every 28 days, the functional layer of endometrium undergoes cyclic changes as a preparation for pregnancy. The successive endometrial changes in uterine cycle is divided into 5 phases. The menstrual phase from 1st to 4th day, the regenerative phase 5th and 6th day, the proliferative phase 6th to 14th day, the secretory phase 15th to 25th day and the ischemic phase 26th and 28th day. The first one is the menstrual phase. It is characterized by the uterine bleeding and persists for first to fourth day. It is associated with the exfoliation of the functional layer of the endometrium which result in hemorrhage. This is due to the withdrawal of the progesterone because of the regression of corpus luteum. Also, it is considered as the beeping of the uterus for the loss of an ovum. The second one is the regenerative phase on 5th and 6th day. At the end of each destructive phase, the total functional layer will be lost and only the basal layer of endometrium persists. In this phase, the functional layer will be once again regenerated from the cells of the basal layer. The third one is the proliferative phase from 6th to 14th day. It is characterized by the proliferation of cells in the functional layer that increase the population of stromal cells and elongation of straight tubular uterine glands and spiral arteries into the endometrium from the basal layer. And so, the functional layer gradually increase in thickness up to 9 mm. The fourth one is the secretory phase that lasts for 11 days from 15th to 25th day. The secretory endometrium or the glandular epithelium secretes a glycogen rich material that leads to the accumulation of fluids and nutrients that further increases the endometrial thickness. The uterine glands become wide, tortuous and secular. The spiral arteries grow up to the superficial compact layer and become increasingly coiled. Direct arteriovenous anastomosis are prominent features of this phase. This is the apt stage for the implantation of the blastocyst along the anterior and posterior wall of the body of the uterus over the mouth of the uterine glands. The maximal reception ability period for the blastocyst lies between 20th and 23rd day and this period of 4 days are termed as the implantation window. The last one is the ischemic phase. On 26th to 28th days, it is also known as the premenstrual phase. This occurs when the oocyte is not fertilized. Here, the spiral arteries constrict, resulting in pale appearance of endometrium, stoppage of glandular secretion, a loss of interstitial fluid that leads to marked shrinkage of endometrium. Towards the end of the ischemic phase, blood seeps through the ruptured wall of the spiral arteries into the lamina propria. Let's see the hormones of the uterine cycle. 
the cyclic histological changes of the endometrium is intimately linked with the cyclic hormonal activities of the ovary destructive regenerative and proliferative phases of uterine cycle are going along with the pre ovulatory phase of ovarian cycle ovulation occurs between the proliferative and secretory phases of uterine cycle secretory and destructive phase of uterine cycle will go along with the post ovulatory phase of ovarian cycle regenerative and proliferative phases of uterine cycle are maintained by the estrogen secreted by the follicular cells of the ovary secretory phase of uterine cycle is controlled by the progesterone secreted by the corpus luteum reduction in progesterone leads to ischemic phase destructive phase of the uterine cycle is due to the withdrawal of the progesterone because of the regression of corpus luteum if fertilization does not occur the secretory phase is followed by the ischemic phase and then the menstrual phase the functional layer of the endometrium is discarded and the next cycle will start with the help of the basal layer if fertilization and implantation occurs the uterine cycle progress into the grand next phase the gravid phase the embryo is allowed to grow inside the uterus for the next 266 days and expelled out at parturition i hope the notes are useful in the next session i'll meet you with the notes on ovarian cycle till then